Humans have had a positive relationship with rivers since the beginning of recorded history and beyond. These rivers provide us with the natural resources we need to sustain life and society. In both the Smoky Mountains and Greater Appalachia, rivers, streams, and creeks are crucial to the lives of the people in Appalachia. Whether it be the fresh water they give us access to, or the sustenance they contain, we find solace in these historical waters. Of the great rivers of the Smoky Mountains, the French Broad has to be towards the top of the list. Traveling from its source in North Carolina to the Tennessee River in Knoxville, Tennessee, the French Broad produces a beautiful set of scenery for us to appreciate and protect. The French Broad River wanders 218 miles from Rossman, North Carolina to Knoxville, Tennessee, where it joins the Holston River to form the Tennessee River. At 325 million years old, the French Broad is one of the oldest rivers in the world and reaches an elevation of over 2,000 feet above sea level. Despite its lengthy run through the Appalachian Mountains, the river only reaches a maximum depth of 10.53 feet. The French Broad has witnessed and experienced more history than any human can imagine. Over its hundreds of millions of years on this planet, the French Broad predates reptiles, dinosaurs, and mammals. It even predates the Appalachian Mountains themselves. As was the case with many rivers in the Smoky Mountains, the French Broad provided Cherokee Indians with the resources they needed to survive. They thrived on the river. Over the years, the Cherokee people had different names for the river, including Agiqua, Zilicoa, and Dakiostan. These names corresponded to certain sections of the river, the mountain headwaters, the convergence in Asheville, and the fast rapids downstream from Asheville. Near the French Broad, there was a river that the English had named the English Broad River. Eventually, settlers gave the name French Broad River, which has stuck ever since. By the turn of the 20th century, the French Broad has become a popular place for trade and industry. The Buncombe Turnpike was one of the most important trade routes, as it allowed farmers to bring their livestock into town to sell. Today, the river is protected in parts by the states of North Carolina and Tennessee. Complete with a 67-mile state trail, the French Broad provides multiple opportunities to enjoy the shallow waters. Located slightly northwest of the Continental Divide, almost on the northwest border of South Carolina, sits the source of the French Broad River near Rosman, North Carolina. The headwaters emerge from a 50-foot waterfall that flows into the North Fork, eventually becoming the French Broad proper south of Rosman. The French Broad is one of the few rivers that flow northward in its journey. Not only does it flow northward, but it does so throughout its entire journey through the Appalachian Mountains until it reaches Tennessee. Up to the city of Asheville, across to Hot Springs, and then down to Douglas Lake, the French Broad marches on to its terminal destination at the headwaters of the Tennessee River in Knoxville, Tennessee. While there are some small earth dams across the French Broad River, the main dam on the river is Douglas Dam. Built in 1942 in just over a year's time by TVA, Douglas Dam is 201 feet high and reaches 1,705 feet across the French Broad. With the Smoky Mountains as its primary backdrop, the dam produces 182 megawatts of energy per day through four turbines. A multitude of tributaries branch off from the French Broad River as many of them work to drain the Smoky Mountains and the surrounding Appalachian Mountains. Some of those tributaries are the North Fork, the West Fork, the East Fork, the Middle Fork, the Pigeon River, the Nolichucky River, the Mills River, Davidson River, Swannanoa River, and Little River. Among the sometimes raging rapids of the French Broad are scores of different types of wildlife. Close to the river there are black bears, beavers, otters, turtles, salamanders, birds, and more. The French Broad is the only river known to house the eastern spinish softshell turtle. Under the waters of the French Broad are trout, bass, bluegill, crappie, and rare mussels. One of these mussels, the Appalachian elk toe mussel, is considered an endangered species. The French Broad River has been known to produce a terrible unique smell, especially during the late 19th century, as trash disposal had not yet become a priority of society. Even years later, garbage floats among the living in the French Broad River and has continued to be a massive issue. A different type of pollution has been working on changing the ecosystems along the French Broad for thousands of years. What scientists call historical debris flow 
has consistently been released into the river over the years and threatens the land throughout the French Broad River Basin. Debris flows come from the convergence of massive rainfall with steep slopes. Once this happens consistently over time, it can hurt the land, the people, and the life around it. Several events of mass debris flow have been recorded in the area throughout the years, including the 1916 flood of the French Broad that caused water to engulf the art district of Asheville. Besides the continued protection of the region near the river, there isn't much to be done. If anything, the most important thing is to be aware so you can spot potential hazards and debris flow before you get caught in them or lose your house in them. There have been efforts to clean up the river and preserve it, but it is a process. Hopefully the people will continue to treasure the river and work towards even better solutions to this pollution. The French Broad River provides so much to the people of the Appalachian Mountains as they have a source of fresh water, sustenance, and recreation to a certain degree. This river basin has seen more history than anything else in the region and will continue to do so. With the threat of pollution and erosion ever present along the banks of the French Broad River, it is more important now than ever to work to protect everything and everyone associated with the river. We must keep preserving this river so future generations can enjoy it as much as our ancestors did.